So I just want to welcome you guys again. My name is Dave Luer, and thank you for joining me. Today we are talking about, instead of asking why me, I want you to ask why not me. And uh, I think we live in such an abundant, amazing world, whether you're living here in the United States, you know, it's such an abundant place that we live in. And, and if you're joining me from Australia or England or my friends up north in Canada, you know, all of us live in a free society where there's just a tremendous amount of abundance. And frankly, it saddens me uh, quite a bit to see all the negative attitudes, even though we've got so much to be grateful for. And a lot of us are just kind of in a victim mode. And instead of seeing all the amazing opportunity and abundance that's in the world, we only see those things that are challenges or obstacles for us. This is my message today. I was watching a program yesterday on CBS Sunday morning, maybe some of you saw it, about a man named Matt Stutzman. And the interesting thing about Matt Stutzman is he was born with a very serious physical disability. In fact, his disability was so bad that his parents didn't even know how to deal with him when he was born. And, and sadly, they gave him up for adoption. They just didn't know how to deal with him. But fortunately, Matt was adopted by a very loving couple that brought him into the family and treated him as though he never had any disabilities. They treated him like a normal child. So Matt grew up, even though he had physical disabilities, he grew up being treated normal by his family. He, he, he went out and he climbed trees and he did everything that little kids are supposed to do, right? Uh, as Matt grew a little bit older, uh, you know, he was overcoming many of his physical uh, challenges, but, uh, you know, he was finding it hard to find work and he'd already had a young family. He was already married with two children and he was struggling to find work. People didn't want to hire him because of his physical disability. So he decided that he was going to go out and get a bow and some arrows and go out and kill some deer. He's going to go out there and feed his family no matter what it takes. So he did. He, he bought a bow and some arrows, went out and, and killed a deer, man, fed his family. But it turns out that he turned out that he was actually a very good archer. He really enjoyed this bow and arrow kind of a thing. And, and before long, he started competing in some tournaments, archery tournaments, and he became the silver medalist in the Paralympics. And even after that, went on to become one of the world's, and still is one of the world's greatest archers, right? Shooting a target that was over three football fields away with an arrow. Incredible, incredible feat. And But what I didn't tell you about Matt is that Matt was born with no arms. Yeah, he, he became one of the world's greatest archers and went on to do many other great things in his life with only the use of his feet. Right. And so this is a, a powerful message, you know, that instead of a becoming a person who tells himself, why me? Oh, why me? Why wasn't I born, you know, with, with arms, you know, Matt Stutzman asked himself, why not me? What's to keep me from going out and accomplishing the things that I want in life. And if Matt can do it, you certainly can too, right? When things get tough, don't ask yourself, why me? Ask, why not me? See, my mission in life is to help you guys out there, you collision repairers, go out and discover the limitless potential that you have inside of yourselves. And you cannot do that when you continually see everything as obstacles and keep and you keep telling yourself, oh, why me? Why, why should I have to deal with with consolidators and insurance companies and all these things, right? These are struggles, but you can still do it if you just take the right mental approach to it. You know, if you think about it, every one of the big MSOs, one of the, the, the big chain stores, you know, all of these guys and gals started out with one location, just like many of you that are watching, just one location. Why not you? 
What's keeping you from achieving the things that you want in life? So in this time right now, it's time to silence the critics, both outside and inside. It's time to hush the voices of the oppressive society and quiet the internal voices of self-doubt. You have the power. So please ask, why not me? Why not me? So I hope this message serves you powerfully today. And if it does, I ask you to please share it with somebody that you care about, somebody that may need to hear this message today. I want to thank you for joining me.